wow, I hate myself. I have done it again. I have built something else and didn't video it. I didn't think it was going to take that long to do it. I thought it was going to be so simple it wasn't worth videoing. But now, since I put it together and looked at it, I'm in shock. It turned out good. And I need to share this with you because you may want to do the same thing. So I'm going to walk you through what I did and hoping you can get a good clear picture of how to build one yourself. Yes, a metal roof on top of a camper. This is the camper we're putting it on. Uh, the awning's got to be replaced. And uh, it's an older camper, but it's got slide outs, two slide outs on the other side. But I wanted to show you the overhang because of the tin, the tin roof we put on here. Because all these campers, the metal that comes up through here, where it meets the rubber up here at the top, they leak. They all leak. Every one of them I've ever known leaks. And I have tried all kinds of ways to take care of that. I've ordered professional stuff, the tape, and cleaned it, put the tape up there. They still leak, they'll leak. <laughs> I have painted the roofs with the, the roofing paint, but what they call the membrane, the rubber roof, they still leak. They'll, they'll, they'll leak two years later, they'll leak again. It's almost like an every year thing. Well, I'm done with that. This is the top. And I'm going to show you in a little while how we put them together. But as you can see, the tin was too short here. This is eight foot long here. And we needed another seven inches to here to where it would go over. I could have bought a 10 foot and cut it, but that's a lot of waste. This stuff is not cheapest. This sheet here is $37 a sheet. Her sheet is seven, $37 a sheet. But now, it's repaired. But now back here, all of this seems like it's okay. But if it starts leaking, I will remove that air conditioner and I will continue this tin idea all the way down. All the way down. But I'm gonna show you in a little while a demonstration of us putting one together. What I failed to tell you earlier is I have 11 of these campers and uh, the biggest thing I have to deal with is the roofs leaking or having problems. Uh, it seems like every other year we're having to rework the roof or repaint the roof or patch the roof or something and I'm done with it. I'm going to put tin on all of them. Okay, this is the beginning of the layout. These are treated one by fours, eight foot long. You could go longer or less, whatever you want to do. But we're fixing to lag them down, and we're going to use these three inch lag bolts here. And uh, we're kind of looking along here, try to find some solid wood along the edge here to mount into. And then the center one, we're going to have to feel around and find something to lag into also. You don't think this one's done the same way that one is with your 16 inch uh, center? Say it again. 16 inch centers? Yeah, it's 16 inch. It may be, it may be, but this being a different company, they could be, different. they could be, you know, it's, it's good to check it out, right? All right. Here we go, we're underway. We'll show you when we get caught up a little I bit. Need to hammer in that punch, just try to hammer and a punch, I'm going after it. Centers. I'm going after it. All right. I gotta be the helper, gotta let you go. Okay. Now trying to find something solid on there is a little bit difficult. You got to take a hammer and a punch and kind of look around for stuff. Yeah. But after you get your first one, if you got a tape measure on you, do you by chance? No, I don't. But I'll go get it. I'm fixing. Take the tape measure and go 16 from here, and I should have another stud here, and so on and so forth. Should. Yeah. That that's 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 pretty much how it's supposed to be. All right. Let me go after a tape measure. You gonna grab it? No, I'll go. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I go get it. Alright, this is a take. Oh, this looks like 15 inch centers here. So we're gonna go from here. We're gonna see if we got another one right here. 
Sau să mergi cu visul vău. Crezi dacă îți Now they may be some bad timber underneath because this is an old trailer. So you got to kind of stick it in a few places see if you can find some solid wood. That was better there, wasn't it? It locked in, yeah. See how we finished it off right here? We uh, run the tin off of the one by four, where it's down right on the roof. And see how it hugs the roof across there? I could caulk across there and seal it off real good with some caulk. But if I ever felt like I needed to add more, I could take that screw out and add some more wood under there and just go on to the back with more tin and more wood. Okay, I am fixing to cut my seven inches here. Right there, I got seven inches all the way across. I'm gonna cut it with this, it cuts it pretty good. I'm not gonna be able to video it because I need an extra hand. And I'm not gonna do this with one hand, I'm gonna do it with two hands. And a mirror must. Okay, as you can see, I've got two, five of them here cut. And uh, we're gonna be putting them on the, the tin mounting them where it makes the tin a few inches longer and uh, but anyhow i'll video some of that too a hundred and one inches is what we're needing that's the length 101 inches from down here all the way down here to the little add-on piece which is going to work out just fine but as you know he's going to go underneath there and then we're going to put some screws and i'll come back and show you what that looks like live at five all right what i got is uh i got my seven inch piece connected to my full piece i already got two screws in for starters and what you want to do is you want to put this you want to put this metal down flat it flat as possible on something flat i was doing it on concrete yesterday it worked out good but now i'm back here with the grass but i, I gotta put another one here and another one here and we're gonna attach four more once we get up there but we're just putting these in here so i can get it on the roof and then uh once we nail it down we'll We'll attach these so the water don't get under. So I just got myself tapping a screw, a drill. And that's how that goes there. One more in. We'll be ready to put this one on the roof. I have done it again. I have built something else and I didn't video it. I didn't think it was going to be that you much. You in the video are giving us a like. Horse is crying. Makes us want to bring on a little more entertainment. It. Don't you agree?